بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم محمد رفیق تافی گورنمنٹ ڈگری کالج لطیف آباد حیدرآباد ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از ہیومن ہارٹ فرام دا چیپٹر نمبر فورٹین ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس لسن می کیئرفلی اینڈ ٹرائی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اٹ ہارٹ از اے پاورفل آرگن مسکولر پمپنگ start uh, before birth till death it is the mesodermally originated organ and located in the thoracic cavity in rib cage between the two lungs heart is covered by a wall called the pericardium it is outermost membrane layer it secretes serious fluid into the space between the vis- visceral and the parietal pericardium This fluid uh, is known as pericardial fluid and it is especially work as like the lubricant and to protect from the friction during heart beat. It is about 15 ml milliliter of pericardial fluid is look present. Uh, heart layer consists on three layers coverings. One is the pericardium, myocardium and endocardium heart uh, itself uh, that's a fist sized heart human heart is a strong uh, heart it possesses four chambers two upper atrium one is the left side another is present at the li- right side and two ventricle that one is present at the left side another is present at the right side atrium are the upper two chambers of the heart and ventricles are the lower two chambers of the heart atrium and ventricle uh, these are the cavities atrium left side of the heart always uh, collect uh, oxygenated blood in the right side of the heart always collect uh, deoxygenated blood heart uh, you can see this is a heart uh, one is the right uh, side of the heart and another is the left uh, side of the heart in between these uh, uh, atrium and ventricle there is a prism of presence of septum septum is a partition in between atrium and two ventricles both atrium collect blood from the different organs by large veins known as a vena cava right atrium collect uh, blood from the superior vena cava and the left atrium collect from the inferior vena cava both ventricles collect blood from the atria and pump to different organs by arteries right ventricle collect deoxygenated blood from different uh, body parts uh, and pump towards the uh, towards the lungs left ventricle collect blood from the left atrium and pump uh, towards the uh, carotid uh, systematic uh, and coronary aorta for upper body parts carotid and uh, lower body parts by the help of systematic and the heart wall collect blood by the help of coronary aorta or we can say the arteries number of arteries both uh, heart side right and left side separated by septum as you uh, seen in the figure interarterial septum in between two atrium that is interarterial septum in between two ventricle that is a interventricular septum while atria and ventricle are separated by arterioventricular wall means atrium and ventricle means upper atrium left atrium and left ventricle L- right atrium and li- right ventricle in between these two there is a presence of septum or we can say the wall that's known is arteriovenicular heart is uh, in fact a double pump the right side of the heart is considered as one pump that's known uh, as a right side uh, that's known as a pulmonary circuit so we will discuss and the left side of the heart that is a second pump that towards the systematic uh, uh, circuit we will discuss this one in the last The wall between right atrium and right ventricle is a tricuspid 
right side of the heart possess tricuspid three valves or we can say the three flap possessing structure means from three side it collect uh, means close and uh, close the uh, chamber yeah we can say the close the opening of uh, this left atrium ventricle is a bicuspid left atrium and ventricle is a bicuspid or we can say the mitral valve bicuspid means it uh, collapse or close from two sides the opening of right and left uh, ventricle into the pulmonary artery aorta are guarded by the semi linear valves semi linear valves means that are the half moon like structures that are responsible to close or we can say the backward flow flow prevent responsible the valve allow the flow of blood only in one direction from arteria to ventricle and from ventricle to pulmonary artery or aorta semi lunar valves the valves present at the opening of right in the left ventricle and allow the entry of blood into the pulmonary artery and aorta respectively these muscles are striated striated muscles uh, are known as a cardiac muscles in involuntary striated muscles you can say involuntary striated muscles are known as a cardiac muscles myocardium is the thin and auricle thin in uh, the auricle but thick in the ventricle especially so in the left uh, ventricle means you can see the cavity of uh, right uh, ventricle is large than the left ventricle and the wall of uh, left ventricle is thicker than the right uh, ventricle because right ventricle just uh, pump blood towards the lungs so it required less muscular walls while the uh, wall, wall, wall of the left ventricle required the thick wall because it is required to push pressure put pressure on the blood and it create one type of the hydrostatic pressure that push towards different body this is a heart you can see one is the pulmonary blue blue color blue colored is a pulmonary and other is the superior vena cava these both uh, these both arteries you can see here one is a superior vena cava and other one is the pulmonary vena cava that uh, give blood to the atrium atrium you can see and uh, lower one lower one are the uh, two ventricles one is the left ventricle and other is the right ventricle tricuspid valve is present at the right side and uh, bicuspid is present at the left side you can see here in uh, figure also this whole heart is covered by membrane that membrane is known as uh, pericardial membrane already we have discussed here large aorta a large artery is known as aorta large vein is known as a uh, vena cava vena cava circulation uh, we have double circuit plan you can say circulation of blood through the heart circulatory system of human is double circuit double circuit means uh, twice time heart move towards the blood move towards the heart and blood pump by heart to different body parts you can see one is the systematic circulation systematic circulation the left ventricle pump oxygenated blood uh, to systematic aorta coronary aorta and carotid aorta in different other body parts or we can say oxygenated blood pumped by left ventricle to different body parts by the help of systematic uh, uh, circulation and other is the pulmonary circulation that uh, uh, means uh, right ventricle pump blood towards the lungs and lungs then carry towards the heart this uh, uh, deoxygenated blood that pump by the left ven right ventricle towards the lungs and then towards the heart means uh, circulation from heart to lungs and from lungs to heart this is known as a pulmonary and systematic circulation is from the left ventricle to different body parts and again uh, return back towards the heart and you can see this is uh, this is the complete uh, figure of uh, the double circuit plant one one side show one side you can see the vena cava that's a blue colored vena cava connect uh, carry blood towards the right atrium and uh, valve 
right side wall this is known as by tricuspid wall that open in blood move towards the left right ventricle and uh, blue colored pulmonary artery again carry blood towards the lungs for the respiration or we can say for the exchange of gases at the lungs you can say one side is blue colored another is the uh, red colored blue colored blue colored show the vein or you can say the deoxygenated blood and uh, uh, red colored show the oxygenated blood then oxygenated blood move toward the uh, left atrium from left atrium to again again towards the left ventricle and from the left ventricle dorsal aorta rise and it carry blood towards the different body parts and uh, you can see uh, red color show the oxygenated blood and uh, blue color show the deoxygenated blood and from the heart you can see the right side of the heart that possesses blue color means it is deoxygenated and left side is red color means this is oxygenated in nature Uh, there are a few disorders we are means uh, unable to complete full one but uh, I am giving a uh, few few things here you can see here disorder of circulatory system high blood pressure it is a result from the narrow of artery lumen lumen is the inner uh, opening of the artery or we can say the any tube and reduce elasticity of arterial wall in old age it can cause rupturing of capillaries it uh, is a silent killer high blood pressure vein means uh, uh, high and low blood pressure means 120 and 80 blood pressure when we plus or we can say get the mean of these two and uh, get uh, more more than 110 uh, hygrometer um, mmhg then that will be the high high blood pressure if that is low that that's known as a uh, less yeah, normal blood pressure coronary artery disease CADR we can say the atherosclerosis the supply of blood to the heart muscles is affected it is caused by the deposit of fat cholesterol fibrous tissues to make the make the lumen of the arteries narrower coronary thrombus we can say formation of uh, clotting one of the artery that supply blood to the heart muscles also known as a coronary oculean oculean coronary oculean is cause of heart attack means uh, when uh, heart um, blood vessels burst then blood flow out that also known as a hemorrhage but uh, during uh, hemorrhage platelets try to close uh, that opening or we can say stop the blood flow outside that's known as a clotting at that time that form the thrombus thrombus show the blood uh, platelets that thrombus when liberate into the blood vessels and uh, close the small uh, arterioles then it may cause the uh, uh, minor uh, angina pectoris or minor myocardial infraction or heart attack we can say if uh, it block the large uh, artery coronary artery then it may cause the uh, major heart attack or we can say the myocardial infraction coronary thrombus angina pectoris caused due to the atherosclerosis when no enough oxygen is reached the heart muscles due to which person experience acute chest pain chest pain is known as angina pectoris before a heart attack we feel chest pain and also in a, uh, chest pain and also feel pain in the limbs cardiac arrest the state in which the heart stop the beating atherosclerosis also the state of hardening of arteries arterioles due to the thickening of fibrous tissues loss of blood it causes hypertension high blood pressure is also known as hypertension myocardial infraction are also known as a mi damaging or death of any area of heart muscles myocardia resulting from the blockage blood supply to that area it also medical uh, trumped uh, for heart attack these are all uh, heart problems uh, are um, uh, means occurring due to the due to the eating of prata or we can say the tali things you can say uh, and also um, cooked uh, bruises uh, and also we can say the smoking and different type of other smoking is injurious for the health or you can say especially for your heart it causes hypertension blood pressure myocardial infraction uh, angina pectoris cardiac arrest 
या डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ हार्ट प्रॉब्लम्स एंड दैट कॉज बाय